section 12 x limited supplies spare parts to an aircraft company y limited capacity of x limited facilities production of any one spare part for a particular period of time the following are the cost and other information for the production of two different spare parts a and b so uh, they are producing two spare parts and they could produce only one spare part at a time the cost and information let's analyze uh, so the per unit of uh, per unit usages for part A and part B is given. Alloy usage 1.6 for both. Machine up, machine time, machine P 0 0.6 hours, 0 0.25 hours. Machine Q 0 0.5 hours, 0 0.55 hours. And the target price or so the selling price is 145 for part A and 115 for part B. And the total hours available for machine P is 4000 hours and machine Q is 4500 hours. Alloy available is 13,000 kilograms at the rate of 12.50 per kilogram. And the variable overheads per hour is machine P rupees 80 machine Q is rupees 100 per hour. So identify the spare part which will optimize contribution at an offered price. So at the offered price 145 and 115 we need to find the contribution for both the parts. So in order to find the contribution first of all let's see how many units of part A and part B can be produced by using the given alloy machine P and machine Q hours. Let's first see that how many units can be produced. See the total alloy available is 13,000 kilograms and to make part A 1.6 kilograms of alloy is required per unit. Per unit 1.6 kilograms per alloy is required and total 13,000 kilograms. So how many units of uh, part A can be produced? Total divided by per unit, right? So 13,000 divided by 1.6. We will get what? 8,125 units. It, the 8,125 units can be produced by using the available alloy. And also part B 13,000 divided by 1.6 because for making part B also 1.6 kilograms per unit is required. So total 13,000 divided by per unit 1.6 we will get the number of units that can be produced. So 8,125 units of part A and part B can be produced using the available alloys. Next machine P. The total machine P hours available is 4000 hours. Machine P total available is 4000 hours. And to make part A per unit 0 0.6 hours per unit is required. Total machine hours is 4000 and 0 0.6 hours per unit is required to make part A. So the number of units that can be produced using machine hours is 4000 divided by 0 0.6. And for number of machine hours that required to make part B is 4000 divided by 0.25. So we will get 6666 uh, units can be produced using the available 4000 hours and 16,000 units can be produced using the available machine hours. Next, machine Q. Machine Q, the total hours available is 4,500. And to make per unit of part A, 0 0.5 hours is required. So, the total divided by per unit usage. 4,500 divided by 0 0.5 is the number of units of part A that can be produced. That is 9,000 units. And may part B, 4,500 divided by per unit usage of part B is 0 0.55. So 4500 divided by 0.55 gives the number of units of part B that can be produced 8125. So using the alloy available we can produce this much amounts of a part A and part B. By using machine P hours we can produce uh, this much part A and this much units of part B and machine Q all these data is uh, provided. Now we find out now let's see the maximum number of parts to be manufactured so in order to make part a we not only requires alloy right we also requires machine p and machine q also um, 
we cannot produce part a only by using the alloy or only by using the machine p or machine q we need a combination of all these three in order to produce the part a or part b so what is the number maximum number of parts to be manufactured it will be the minimum of the above three because uh, let's see i want to produce 9000 units of part a in order to produce 9000 units of part a is there are enough machine p hours and alloy no right because from the uh, from the available machine p hours we can produce only 6666 units we cannot produce 9000 units and from the uh, available alloy 13000 kg we can produce only 8125 units we cannot reach 9000 units so uh, we cannot produce 9000 units. So, can I produce 8125 units of part A? In order to produce 8125 units of part A, is there are enough machine P hours? No, because from the available 4000 hours of machine P, I can produce only 6666 units. So, I can't produce 8125 units. Uh, from machine Q, uh, there is 9000 hours of machine Q and I can produce... Uh, Part A um, because 8125 units only required. But there is a shortage of machine P hours. So we will choose the minimum of the above three. 6660 units of part A can be manufactured. So there will be enough alloy and enough machine Q hours to produce the required units. So I can produce 6666 units of part A. And how many units of part B can be manufactured? The minimum of the above three. 8125 units. 8125 units of part B can be produced. So we have found the number of units that can be produced using the alloy machine P and machine Q. Now let's find the contribution. Let's find the uh, part A, part B. Selling price is 145 for part A and 115 for part B. It is given in the question as target price, right? Sales, selling price. Now let's reduce the variable cost. Variable cost is machine P hours. Uh, per unit we are finding it in per unit okay uh, so uh, in order to make per unit of part a there is 0 0.6 hours of machine p hours is required and what is the required rate per unit 80 so 0 0.6 into 80 and here 0 0.25 into 80 we will get it as 48 and 20 is the machine p hours cost and machine Q cost will be what how many hours of machine Q is required to make per unit 0 0.5 hours and what is the cost per unit per hour 100 so 0 0.5 into 100 and 0 0.55 into 100 we will get it as 50 and 55 then the material usage material here is um, alloy usage 1.6 per kilogram is required and the rate per kilogram is 12.50 so 1.6 into 12.5 1.6 into 12.5 we will get the material as 20 and 20 now we can find the total variable cost by adding all these costs we will get 118 and 95 so selling price minus variable cost give out contribution per unit that is 145 minus 118 gives 27 115 minus 95 is 20 now we can find the total contribution for units produced the total contribution is the number of units of part a that can be produced we already found out as 6666 that into per unit contribution 27 so 6666 into 27 gives 179,782 and here it is uh, per unit contribution 20 into number of units of part to B that can be produced 8125 so into 8125 gives 1,62,500 so these are the total contribution for the number of units produced so what is the maximum contribution maximum contribution is for part B so part A part A so part A will optimize the contribution that is the answer for our first question
Now let's move on to the second one. If Y Limited reduces the target price by 10 percentage, so target price reduced to by 10 percentage, and offers rupees 60 per hour of unutilized machine hours. For unutilized machine hours, they give rupees 60 per hour. Calculate the total contribution from the spare part identified above. The spare part be identified above is part A. Above is part A. So for part A, we need to find the new contribution when the target price is reduced by 10 percentage and rupees 60 is offered for unutilized machine hours. So how will we adjust the contribution? We have already found out a contribution, right? So how will we adjust the contribution? There is a, uh, there is a, a reduction in the target price and a offers 64 unutilized hours there is a difference in the selling price and the variable cost so let's data if we have uh, how we find the contribution in the first place selling price minus variable cost gives contribution now how will we adjust the contribution there is a reduction there is a change uh, there is a change in the variable cost so variable cost we will add the variable cost and then uh, say selling price is initially added now we will subtract it so from the available contribution we will add the change in variable cost and we will subtract the selling price in order to get the new contribution so let's see the available contribution is 1,79,982 now let's see what is the variable cost here unutilized machine hours right for unutilized machine hours rupees 60 is offered so what is the unutilized machine hours here machine pay the available hours is 4000 how many hours we use for machine pay to make part a 0 0.6 hours per unit is required so what is the total hours required 0 0.6 uh, 0.6 into 0 0.6 into how many units we are producing 6666 six, six, six units right so total hours used is 3999.6 uh, that is almost 4000 hours is utilized there is no unutilized machine hours p then is there any unutilized machine hours for machine q uh, 4500 total hours is available for machine q and how many units we how many hours we used to make part a 0 0.5 into 0.5 into how many units of part a we are producing 6666 so we are use, uh, we required only 3333 machine hours for uh, machine queue to make part a 3333 hours is only required but the available machine hours is 4500 so what is what is the unutilized machine hours 4500 minus 3333 unutilized machine hours is 1167 and for this hours of machine hours how many amount is uh, provided how many cost 60 so 1167 into 60 so the unutilized machine hour cost is 70,020 unutilized machine hours is 70,020 uh, so we will get contribution minus unutilized machine hours gives 2,50,002 now we have to reduce the reduction in sales reduction in sales is what uh, Initially, the sales price was 145 and there is a reduction of 10 percentage. That is 10 percentage is what? 14.5 is the reduction in selling price. So this reduction in selling price into number of units 6666. We will get 96,657 as the selling price to be reduced. So we will get the new contribution as 1,53,343. So with the initial contribution, we subtracted the, we added the change in variable cost and we subtracted the change in selling price. Now we will get the new total contribution to produce part A. Hope it is clear.